welcome back to my lovely IHP community and the 5D Collective as we continue with chit-chatting about the individuals who don't choose to be their self because they have stories that satisfy their ego and their shame narrative. So a facade self is an indication of a Cusco attitude, that's all. And it is a distorted ego, because we all have ego. But the distorted ego, it's the ego shame, hero villain saving story. So they choose fear. That's the unfaced fears, because they don't choose love, true self, healing, because they, in fact, don't go to grieve not being known by their parent. So childhood trauma, those individuals is what I'm talking about right now. But we also have those who have trust breaks and trauma charges. So anybody who is projecting that empowerment, justice, superhero, supervillain story is a person who ignores the sciences that share with you the importance of a good therapist. Now, I'm a holistic practitioner. That's why I'm talking about this. I'm a Reiki master and I'm a 5D mystic. I use that 5D because the 5D frequency is all about Jesus and love. You don't have to believe in Christianity, Catholicism, no, or believe in anything, but it's the frequency of love, you see? Okay, so we use words, the intelligent human beings, open-minded, in ways that are not going to be picked at. I always have those picky people in my brain, so I don't do dictionary. I'm not here to be liked or disliked. By the way, I already know that I might be liked or disliked. This is what a self-empowered person is doing they're like okay how many different ways can i talk about what i care about and then support people in my case to know you can inspire your human potential and it comes from your true self though every person's higher potential inner and outer well-being the human love narrative life comes from when you love life every day when you're waking up when you own your mind and your heart body which is why you are called to ihp to do mindful self-help living and loving and be yourself, to do spiritual life and love. I'm a spirituality. I'm a person of faith. I just don't use those words in an effort to respect the ones who use them differently. But I'm always going to be with God because I grew up with God. That's why I was determined a certain way, which is why Robert Sapolsky, he has a point. He doesn't disprove God to me, and he doesn't disprove free will to me, and he doesn't disprove it to others who also know about their own destiny. Because we all acknowledge what he's trying to share with us is a data point of, yes, the first three years of your life matter. All the smart trauma therapists are talking about it. All the good ones, that's why they'll tell you, like Patrick Tehan, you can't heal your childhood trauma with a holistic person. And I agree, which is why when I see the facades, I know who they're following because I watch them as they look like copycats of each other. So I saw recently a facade self. There's a man and a woman. I pick on them particularly. They look really amazing in their suits. Oh, suits, fancy, you name it. It's amazing to watch those individuals who did not grieve their three-year-old. Nope, they're an, a living embodiment of the facade of their self. It's amazing to watch as they prance around with armored chests because their heart is not open to love. In fact, they consistently talk about, one, shaming people. They talk about some evil people, and they don't talk about education. They also minimize therapy, some of them, and think that they can heal your inner child by being a person. What's the word? They use the word. I was like, wow, that's an interesting word to choose to use. You're discrediting an entire group of academics who went to school, did work. They're still doing it, and you want to compare yourself to them? That's, that's amazing. Really, though, what you're doing, Peter Pan, is nothing fancy or amazing to me because I know that the ones who will choose their self will spot you like a hawk, like I am. So there's no reason for my defeat. I accepted. Remember, defeat yesterday, we talked about it, that there will be, there will be all of the facades that I see. They look so beautiful with their shamed ego. It's amazing how they prance around with their titles. Well, I accept that some people will choose to be their ego and shame, all one, distorted ego, with the narrative and their superhero, supervillain story. But for those of you who don't want to choose fear and you do want to choose love, welcome aboard. So choosing love means this. We are true selves, so we can love unconditionally like Jesus taught. We own the mind and the heart body. That's why our divine masculine, divine feminine right here 
Then we have a masculine and feminine. Mystics are always joining more mystics, not less. We don't have energy vampires or dark auras in our groups, and we don't have Lucifer to blame. We have nothing to blame because we don't do shame. We see ourselves, we soothe ourselves, we safe ourselves, we're secure to ourselves. That's why. Speaking truth with intimacy and vulnerability, not fear or facades. Really, when we meet facades, uh, the ego shame narrative and their distortion of reality and divide and perpetuation is going to involve adaptive child or maladaptive child patterns of thought and behaviors when dealing with me and others that are self-empowered and not. And then when dealing with life's unknowns, unexpected uncertainties and unwanted. So we will know their human suffering love narrative because they will make sure to let us know about it. We will share with them our human love narrative, and then we will each go our merry way. The inner child adult will be with more people who have mind, heart, body, inner harmony, because mindfully living and spiritually living and being of true spirituality or true mindfulness is going to involve not a pain point. We are on a high, so the bliss, the delight, that which is everything that is love and life is going to continue to come our way. Also, when we have things take place with our twin flames and or soulmates, we don't call it tragedy. Nope, we call it something of a choice point because you get to choose. Strangers in the night. Na, na, na. We're not strangers, by the way. That's why. So you get to choose how to treat someone. The minute that I'm presenting to you a whole new world, a magic place, you'll never know. Yeah, okay, anybody? So when I have a lover, I will make sure to respect them always. And when I will have noticed that I will have been not given the same opportunity, I will notice. And unlike those who don't own their divine masculine and their divine feminine, so unlike the twin flame stories you hear out there, what you have is a facade. So you have all these facade selves and they don't seem to know in the end who you are is what will manifest in the world. I mean, so facades don't know love. I do know love. And what I can tell you is that myself has never been ashamed one day of who I am. And I'm not ashamed of those of my oversoul. And I don't feel that they did anything that is for me to say was right or wrong because I don't cast stones. I can share with you Maria's subjective experience as a woman who is self-empowered and is a mystic that has self-worth and does inner growth and loves equanimity. I'm not a victim. I'm not a victim. I'm not a superhero. I'm not a super villain. I ain't saving myself from something. I didn't get into any, there's no physical threat. I don't need saving. I also don't need to save another person. That sounds egoic, people. Mm, yeah, I wonder. So my choice point with people, the first thing that you'll ever know is life, for those of us of faith, never turns against us. God didn't do anything to me. I don't blame God for when I meet humanity. And humanity, I don't blame. So again, the facade selves, they have a good ego shame hero villain story because they keep on wanting to save which is why they keep choosing fear, because the mannerisms of fear are that they shame, blame, fault, revenge, and create a story. I choose love. When you're empowered, it's love, true self. It's healing. Healing doesn't mean that I have laundries and master. It means that when I will have been given that which is the silence treatment or whatever it may be, I will at a certain point understand what I am in the presence of. It's called a choice point of someone who doesn't want you have something deep, okay? That's why it's not tragedy. It's not a story. So our oversoul, they're people that we love, and they love us, and we love each other unconditionally because that's what a 5D collective member is doing. So we have unconditional love. It doesn't ever cease just because you and I will disagree on what we want to bring to each other. You see, it's called secure attachment, and some of us know what it means to have different attachment desires. And as a grown-up, when you're equanimous, it's not a uh, yes or no. So this means it's not, oh, you know what? I don't want to have them around me anymore because they don't know how to be. No, <laughs> it's not that at all. You're going to have more people around you. Why would I cut people out of my life? There's no need. I know how to implement what is called healthy boundaries without even speaking those words because that's the point of what an empowered person can do. 
mindfully living and mindfulness. And spirituality is not where I'm going to make sure you understand. Let me tell you what I'm doing right now. So here's how I did it. And here, no, 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 I'm sharing with you all what it looks like. It looks like where when someone thinks they taught me common courtesy, I'm going to leave it alone because I'm not going to use my time there. They could use a therapist. So that's all. And when I meet the ones who I can have a fun time with, then we're going to have a fun time teasing the people that don't go to therapy because they will act like they know everything. The facades, they're not out there thinking that they don't know what they're doing. They're following Peter Pan. Anybody watch Peter Pan with the Lost Boys? Did anybody watch Hook, by the way? I'm just saying. So I use stories, new ones, so that you can understand healing trauma. There's an option for people, but hey, guess what? I accept the defeat. Some people are going to choose human suffering. That love narrative is not ours, though. The 5D Collective, it is a love narrative. Come on over if you do want to do ego with love, not shame. <laughs> no shame button. It's more of, ha, huh, let's see how we can regulate our nervous system in this occasion. I got the opportunity to do that just a couple days ago. <laughs> and uh, it was a series of events. And every time I got the opportunity, I'm like, this is good, Maria. Good, good. Keep on being aware. Okay, what are we doing? Well, we're breathing. Is this working for me? I don't know if it's working. <laughs> it's, it's, it's going good. So we thank our oversoul. They always give us the opportunity to choose love. So if they choose love too, then we're going to laugh together. If they choose fear, well, it's okay. Cusco, the squirrel from Cusco. Facades are not interesting. Distorted ego, superhero, supervillain. Again, saving, not saving, accusations. This is not intellectually, emotionally, or physically stimulating for divine feminine. I can tell you all about it. And divine masculines that are divine masculines, so they're not in the making. They're a completely themselves, okay? Anyone in the making, it's great when we have Cusco's who come on over and say, yep, I want to embody my wholeness. Awesome. <laughs> when we meet the ones who are pretending, again, they're not going to be the embodiment. So we don't have to use divine. Long story short, those who embody divine mask and divine feminine, we have this, we have playfulness and we have also the beauty of sacred union and it's for real. Oh, and it's full of emotions. This is not emotionless. That's not how it works here. <laughs> oh, I have fun when I see people who think that their enlightenment journey is there because they have no emotions with their partner or partners. But then again, nope, just one partner. I'm thinking, wow. <laughs> Oh, my twin flames, there are plenty of emotions, and my soulmates too. I have none of them that are emotionless, let alone fizzling out. No, I get to be saved. I don't have to watch if that is going to take place. So, side note, we're going to talk about divine masculine and divine feminines in another episode. In the meantime, thanks for stopping by. I hope that you can like and share and subscribe. And if you do know people who want to do mindfulness, mindset, and hear funny stories as well, perspectives, all of it, <laughs> send them on over. 5D Mystics, remember, we have a good time and we have more people in our oversoul, not less. So have a great day.